remember to record. Um, thank you everybody for joining us today. My name is Nora, I'm with Travel Leaders, and I want to introduce to you Lynn Coughlin from Norwegian Cruise Line. She is going to be telling us all about the return to cruising. We're so excited about that. Uh, Lynn, I'm going to let you take it away, but for anyone who has questions, feel free to put those in the chat and I'll monitor that um, and, and let Lynn know if there's any questions. Um, otherwise, there will be some time for Q&A at the end. So uh, Lynn, back to you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so pleased to speak with you today about sailing the Caribbean with Norwegian Cruise Line. We do really make island hopping the Caribbean a breeze. Today for the agenda, we're going to talk about the Norwegian difference. You know, we're different than the other cruise lines, so I want to make sure that you uh, know how special we are. We're going to touch on uh, some Eastern itineraries, Eastern Caribbean, Western Caribbean, Southern Caribbean. We'll uh, talk about our current health and safety because we are returning to cruising this summer. We're so excited about it. We believe that uh, we have, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's safe for us to do so, and I want to share with you why we believe that. I want to also tell you why this is a great time to book. We have some amazing, uh, very rich uh, promotions in place right now. And with Travel Leaders, there are some exclusive offers. And then we'll end with some questions, questions and answers. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Mention that Norwegian Cruise Line is different. We're different than the other cruise lines. We have a concept called the freestyle cruising concept. And we believe that your vacations are so special. Your time is so precious that you deserve to be able to cruise your own way, to set your own schedule. So we think it's really cruising your own way is the best sort of vacation. And we do this by having no fixed dining times. You can get dressed up with Norwegian or you can go casual, however you wish. You can actually eat with uh, uh, just you know, your traveling companions or you can eat with other people uh, and make new friends. We always have a nice uh, uh, selection of complimentary and specialty dining options, actually up to 29 dining options on our newer ships. In addition to the specialty dining, we have our main dining rooms, beautiful main dining rooms, no reservations required, casual buffets, which are now not self-serve, but you will be served at the casual uh, buffets, but great selection, even for the, the pickiest of eaters. And we also have 24 hour uh, pubs on our, our ship. So no matter what time of day or night, you have a, a hankering for something, there's something, uh, some uh, place to go uh, to get some uh, food. Uh, and you can also have room service delivered. This is a list of some of our specialty uh, restaurants for those that have cruised with us before. These may look familiar, but we have quite a wide complement um, of fare. We have uh, steakhouses, seafood, French, Mexican, uh, very high-end Italian. We have uh, churrascaria, Moderna churrascaria. That is our Brazilian uh, um, and it's absolutely amazing. Teppanyaki, they do a great job with the show cooking there. Food Republic is more uh, smaller tapas, plates to be shared. Uh, the Q, uh, it would be a, um, a country uh, and a, you know, a Texas fair, American diner, and of course the sweet shops as well. On many of our ships, we do have Starbucks, uh, full Starbucks, Starbucks uh, coffee uh, stations. Uh, as well, we serve Starbucks coffee on board. You don't go hungry on a Norwegian uh, cruise. Uh, we do have activities for all age groups. Three of our ships actually have a racetrack on top, a double decker racetrack that goes up to 30 miles an hour. You wear a helmet and it's amazing. It's so thrilling. The, uh, the three of our newest ships, the, the uh, Bliss, the Joy and the Encore have the, the racetracks and, and several of those actually do Caribbean itinerary. So if that is something that you're interested in, you wanna definitely speak with the uh, travel advisor, travel leaders, and they'll uh, let you know which itinerary, uh, which ship and which itinerary you can match up for that. Um, we're great for all different groups, uh, size groups. We're great for the solo traveler all, up to, all the way up to multi-generational groups. There's no shortage of activities on board our ships. We say that there is zero chance for boredom. 
Uh, you, in addition to some of the ships having the racetrack and laser tags and virtual reality, there's always an, an aqua park, a sports complex, there's a fabulous fitness center. You know, you don't want to feel so guilty <laughs> indulging in all the wonderful food. So uh, the fitness center is available as well. In addition, there's some relaxing activities, the casino, the spa. We have some night uh, adults only clubs and no shortage of bars and lounges as well. Also some great uh, shops um, available on board our ships. We are a family brand. We uh, know that parents are happiest when their children are happy. So we have some fantastic children's programs, uh, starting with the Splash Academy uh, for uh, children three to 12 and that hard to please age, the entourage teen set 13 to 17 years but all sorts of uh, wonderful activities uh, for, to keep uh, those uh, age groups happy. We have the best entertainment at sea. Our, for our shows are Broadway version shows. They're not truncated, they're full shows. They are absolutely amazing. You know, I, I, one of my favorite things to do is to go to, to New York City and to, uh, to attend shows on Broadway. And I will say that our shows on our ships are every bit as fantastic. Uh, the uh, the headlining shows, the main shows are all complimentary. So I absolutely would encourage you uh, to uh, to attend um, our our um, our fabulous entertainment, our fabulous shows. So in addition to the Broadway style shows, we have dinner shows, we have live music, theme parties, comedy clubs. The comedians that they fly in usually for two weeks at a time are fantastic. Uh, many of them have actually performed on Saturday Night Live. Really, there's no shortage of uh, evening activities. Great, great fun. We also have a very wide range of accommodations. Everything from uh, the Deluxe Haven accommodations, which is our ship within a ship complex, uh, exclusive complex at the top of the ship for the most discriminating uh, of you guests. Uh, and then we also have uh, the pictures of the Haven there. It's absolutely magical. They say once you sail in a Haven cabin, you will always want to sail in a Haven cabin. But we also have a nice range of, of uh, cabins, the balcony, ocean view inside. And on more than half of our ships, we have uh, studio cabins. These are perfect for solo travelers. Uh, they're just designed for one person. All of our studio cabins are in close proximity to a studio lounge. The studio cabins are small, but they're really beautifully designed. Perfect for one person and uh, for one uh, or for friends that are traveling together that each, each want their own space. But the studio cabins are all located close to the studio lounge uh, where you um, would, would have ample room to uh, hang out and to meet other people. I mentioned that we're a cruise product for everyone. That's what I love so much about Norwegian Cruise Line. We really have broad appeal. So if you're thinking about, uh, you know, an extended family group, absolutely reach out to the travel advisors at Travel Leaders. They're fantastic at putting groups together. And with us, it's just seven cabins required to block group space and you get additional discounts and amenities. I think in this time where we're all missing each other, maybe group travel is going to be super, super popular. But uh, okay, so the featured uh, product today is Caribbean. Uh, Norwegian has been voted the uh, Caribbean's leading cruise line eight years in a, in a row, according to the World Travel Awards. We're very proud of that, um, that honor. Sail the Caribbean, you can sail east, west, southern itineraries, where the cl crystal clear waters and sunny skies await. There are over 700 islands in the Caribbean. And you know we, we go to the most popular ones. It would be impossible to visit all of them at one time. Uh, so we do divide the Caribbean into different regions, but reasons to visit the Caribbean, to sail with Norwegian to the Caribbean, exotic islands, captivating excursions, and world-class onboard facilities. So here's a Caribbean ports overview. You can see these are the most popular uh, islands that we visit. It's just too, too much to do in one time, although that would be an amazing <laughs> itinerary. So we do divide it up. Um, you can choose from over 40 different itineraries, again, selecting either Southern, Western or Eastern Caribbean itineraries. 
You select your departure port, uh, port and the length of your cruise. You know, we sailed to the Caribbean from New York, Miami, San Juan, Tampa, New Orleans, Port Canaveral. And new for us this summer, we're sailing from Montego Bay. That's one of our first sailings, uh, return to service sailings, a beautiful itinerary. So you pick your ship, there's over nine to choose from. Whether you're sailing uh, as a seasoned cruiser or um, a new to sailing, you really can't go wrong. You unpack once, you see so much, and there's plenty of time in paradise. Let's take a look at the Eastern Caribbean and some of the islands you would be visiting on an Eastern Caribbean itinerary. Okay, you can see on the map, it's really the Eastern section uh, of the Caribbean there. So uh, cruise ports would include places like St. Thomas. This is a picture of heart-shaped Megan's Bay. There's downtown Charlotte Amalia. You can see that there's some uh, Dutch history architecture there. I actually lived in uh, St. Thomas for four years. It's uh, absolutely a fantastic place and, and great shopping as well. If you get to St. Thomas, get a, get a Jeep, explore the island or take the ferry over to, uh, to uh, um, St. John, beautiful, beautiful vacation day there. Another port of call on the Eastern Caribbean itinerary would be St. Martin. The ship um, docks in the Dutch side. You know, uh, St. Martin is known for having two, um, two different uh, nationalities, half French, half Dutch. And they're saying is um, delightfully, fantastically French, delightfully Dutch. Very easy to get from one uh, side of the island to another. There's no checkpoint Charlie's. It's just welcome to the French side, welcome to the Dutch side. But very popular cruise port. St. John's Antigua, beautiful Antigua. Antigua is known for having a, a beach for every day of the year. And then a Western Caribbean itinerary would include these areas here. More of a Mayan influence on the Western itineraries. Ocho Rios, Jamaica, beautiful. That's a picture of Dunn's River Falls. Roatan, Honduras would be a cruise port uh, on the uh, Western itinerary. Harvest Cay, uh, Belize. This is actually our private uh, destination uh, that, that uh, we lease, uh, 75 acres. It's absolutely beautiful. In fact, I think it's so nice that I have two pictures of it. <laughs> this is uh, the, the pool. It's a huge 15,000 square foot pool. This is a fantastic vacation day, uh, stopping on at uh, Harvest Cay. Here. Okay, and then another stop you would find on the Western Caribbean itinerary would be Cozumel, just off the Yucatan Peninsula. Great island. There's a wonderful mu Mayan museum here in Cozumel. And when I was there, I thought, boy, these Mayans were so smart with their hurricane early detection uh, warning system and their calendars. And it's just fascinating. Very fun cruise port, Cozumel. Southern. Southern would include uh, destinations that are closer to South America. So it would uh, include islands uh, like the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. If you're sailing from New York to the Southern Caribbean, uh, you would uh, stop at our uh, private island in the Bahamas, Great Stirrup Key. And this is a fantastic uh, vacation stop as well. You can even swim with pigs at the uh, at our island in the Bahamas. St. Lucia is included on the, uh, um, the Southern itinerary, the Pitons, beautiful, very dramatic scenery, great for hikers. Bridgetown Barbados, definitely a very Dutch and uh, British colonial uh, influence here on the Southern itinerary. Aruba, or as I say, ah, Aruba, where every day is a perfect summer day. So now to talk about our health and safety, you know, we have been on pause for the last 14 months. It's been challenging uh, for everyone and there's definitely pent up demand, those that are eager to return, return to cruising. We did not want to return to cruising until we believed that it was absolutely safe to do so. We have created a very robust and comprehensive health and safety program with multiple layers of protection. It's all very much 
science-backed, uh, uh, and we um, relied on globally recognized experts to help us and to let us know that now it, it is time to return to sailing. So our uh, health and safety plan comprises of safety for our guests and crew and the communities that we visit, um, safety aboard our ships and safety ashore. Okay. We are sailing this summer. We're very excited. We start sailing with actually one itinerary out of Athens, Greece and two Caribbean itineraries, one out of Montego Bay, uh, and uh, which would be a Western itinerary and an Eastern uh, Caribbean itinerary out of the Dominican Republic, La Romana. Uh, when we start sailing this summer, we're going to require that 100% of the guests and crew are vaccinated. If you're not eligible to get a vaccine or choose not to get a vaccine, you would not be permitted to sail with us. Uh, so we are requiring 100%. This is uh, for our sailings through October 31. So if you are someone, uh, there's a lot of people <laughs> that can't wait to cruise again and are ready to go and ready to book. Uh, for this summer, we do require that you are fully vaccinated at least two weeks prior to sailing, right? We're also going to um, go along with whatever the local requirements are uh, for the destinations that we visit. 30 days prior to sailing, if booked, you would receive um, a communication as your travel advisor would as well um, about the requirements for the different ports that you visit, okay? In the beginning, you would be required to purchase shore excursions through Norwegian Cruise Line. You would not be allowed to um, tour independently. Uh, we expect that you will have to wear uh, facial coverings. Again, this is just through October uh, 31. Uh, we don't know yet in November. Hopefully, this will all be uh, in our rear view mirror. But for those, again, that are very eager to get sailing with us, uh, we do expect that you'll have to wear facial coverings. Uh, in um, all of the public areas. You wouldn't be expected to wear them in your stateroom or in the restaurants and bars while eating and drinking. Uh, but we have stepped up all of our cleaning and disinfecting. We actually have two uh, onboard medical resource officers. Uh, we have, um, you know, we, we believe that it is absolutely safe to travel. Uh, and to cruise with us because of all of our multi-layer protocols. So we actually have 74 protocols uh, that we've implemented in addition to um, the cornerstone uh, pro uh, protocol, which is 100% vaccination. But if um, uh, COVID does break out, we do have isolation cabins and um, contact tracing and all sorts of things. But the travel advisors, the travel leaders have been uh, informed on all of this and um, if there are any questions, please reach out to them because they can uh, help to reassure you. This is a great time to book. There are, there's quite a great pent up demand. We have had millions of guests that have been impacted by uh, suspended sailings. And I'm so sorry if, if you have been one of those guests, uh, but we are seeing strong bookings for 20, especially for 2022. So um, I would suggest that if you have any um, plans to cruise that you actually want to get something booked uh, as soon as possible. And to entice you, we have a very rich offer right now. We're offering 30% off uh, plus take all five offers. And our offers include free open bar, free specialty dining, free excursions, which is a discount $50 off of each of your NCL purchased uh, shore excursions. Free Wi-Fi, which is great. All of our sailings right now are seven days. So uh, the free Wi-Fi is 250 minutes. And for many uh, people think that if you can't post it, then it's almost like it didn't happen. So the, the Wi-Fi is nice. Kids sail free. Well, right now, uh, we, you know, as kids are not able to be vaccinated, they wouldn't be included uh, on our sailings through October 31. Uh, but we are on sale uh, into uh, 2023, actually. And then we have a second guest flies free promotion. Uh, many dates are um, and gateways are applicable. And that really helps where you can actually lock in an air price into 2023, where the regularly scheduled airlines aren't even on sale that far in advance. And again, the expert and knowledgeable travel advisors at travel leaders can really guide you appropriately. But this is a fantastic time to book. I would say because of the pent up demand and the strong sales, 
the uh, the the um, demand is far outweighing the supply, and the prices are steadily increasing. So, you know, risk free to book right now, but get something on the books. But wait, there's more. In addition to all of those offers, if you book uh, with travel advisors, uh, this is an exclusive offer. Um, in the next seven days, any ship, any sailing date, I'm going to provide uh, chocolate covered strawberries and a, a bottle of wine for each cabin that you book. So uh, we really think that this is uh, a fantastic time to book to take advantage of all of these great offers. And you get those little extras too. So that, that is it uh, in, in a nutshell. Um, thank you, now please go away. <laughs> so, Nora, do we have any questions? I don't have any in the chat yet, but I'm just gonna remind you, um, if you're watching, you can put any questions you have <clears throat> in the chat and I'll be happy to be the facilitator for you. I'm really excited that you're gonna be sailing again this summer. And I love that you've got itineraries that are traveling in the Caribbean and in Greece. That's right. Um, I didn't. I didn't really mention the Greek um, Isles itinerary. It's a. It's a beautiful itinerary. It's round trip from Athens. It starts on July twenty fifth. Seven ports in seven days. Beautiful, beautiful itinerary. Really for a full Greek immersive experience. I have to tell you all, I saw that itinerary for the first time uh, a few hours ago, and wow, it is probably my favorite Greek itinerary that I've ever seen. It, it hits so many of my favorite places in Greece, so I think that's fantastic. Um, and I, want, I wanted to, yes, I wanted to say that, you know, uh, when Norwegian puts the itineraries together, they're very carefully crafted, very thoughtfully put together with maximum port time and uh, you know, as few sea days as possible. Uh, typically, in our, uh, it depends if you're if you're sailing from New York, uh, then a, a, a cruise to the Caribbean could be uh, 13 or 14 days. But if you're sailing from Florida, they're typically seven days, uh, which leaves very little sea time. Although I do love sea days because it really allows you to relax, to settle into your vacation, and to uh, discover the ship and all that she has to offer. I, I agree with you. That's that balance between the great ports and the days at sea is important. Uh, one of our attendees has asked a question about the reduced capacity. Yes. Can you um, help with that and tell yes. us how long that's going to be going as far as you know right now? Yes, that's a great question. So uh, right now through October 31, we have announced that we will have reduced capacity. It's somewhere in the 50% range. Uh, which is great. You know, we're also, it will allow for uh, very, uh, um, you know, e easier social distancing, uh, but we're also going to have, uh, um, you know, um, spaces uh, in the restaurants, the dining, all of that will be reduced capacity as well in keeping with the number of guests on board. But all of our sailings, even our return, our return to sailings that start this summer, um, these are not compromised sailings. They're beautiful itineraries with everything available on board. So the casino, the shops, the restaurants, the spas, the entertainment, everything is going to be open. We didn't want to uh, limit the onboard experience. We're known for having an am amazing onboard experience, delivering an amazing onboard experience. And uh, so we really wanted to make sure that when we came out, we came out strong. And I will say that our ships have never looked better. You know, we used this time in layup to paint them and to really spruce them up. And so we're so excited. You know, we, it, the, the ships will never look better. These itineraries are beautiful. And we really believe that it's time to sail again. I love it. I love it. Well, I don't see any other questions coming in, but to anyone who's, who's watching uh, live or recorded. You will get a copy of my email. I'm Nora from Travel Leaders. Send me your questions and if I don't know the answers, I know I can get Lynn to help me with the with, with those responses. So thank you all again for joining today. Lynn, any last words before we go? Oh my gosh, I would say book today <laughs> because it may not be there tomorrow uh, and uh, we wouldn't want you to be disappointed, but absolutely use the expert knowledgeable travel advisors at Travel the Leaders and they will make sure that you have an absolutely fantastic and magical cruise experience with Norwegian.
Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.